Hi guys, it's MTG here, and today I just got my Galaxy Note 8 in the mail. Some of you may be wondering how Samsung can be releasing a new phone when it hasn't even been 5 months since the S8 has been released. Well, Samsung does a thing where in the first quarter of the year they release their S lineup and in the third quarter of the year they release their Note lineup. The Note is more like their pro phone and it has all the best specifications and the best features that they can put on a phone and it includes an S Pen. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Note 8 and will show you what's inside the retail packaging that you'll find in any store and I'll show you how it physically compares to the S8 which is a very similar phone. Let's dive right in. Opening the box, you are first presented with the phone itself. Samsung did go all out in terms of giving it some of the best specifications available. It has a 6.3 inch QHD Plus Super AMOLED screen that is HDR certified, an 8 megapixel front camera that can shoot in 1440p, a micro SD card slot, an iris scanner, an embedded home button, and 6 gigabytes of RAM. On the back we'll find the dual 12 megapixel cameras that both have optical image stabilization, the flash, heart rate sensor, and fingerprint sensor. Under the phone, you'll find a packet that on the back has a SIM ejector tool. Inside the packet, you'll find the quick start guide and other warranty information. Setting that aside, you'll see that Samsung includes a USB-A female to USB-C male adapter. This, coupled with the Samsung Smart Switch app, will allow you to transfer data from any phone, whether it be an iPhone or an Android device. Next, you'll find an included micro USB to USB C adapter that will allow you to use your older cables to charge the phone. The adaptive fast charging wall plug will allow you to get over 50% of charge in just 30 minutes of charging. Looking inside the top compartment, you'll find some replacement S Pen tips and a tool that will help you replace them. Next we see the USB-C to USB-A cable for data transfer and charging. Lastly, you'll find the included headphones that are tuned by Harman Kardon's AKG. These are quality earphones and Samsung claims that they are worth $100 if sold separately. I've listened to these a lot over the past few months and the sound is better than any pair of included earphones I've ever listened to, by far. Samsung also makes sure to include extra earbuds to ensure there is a nice seal when you're listening to music. The Note 8 and the S8 Plus look very similar, but physically there are some subtle differences that I'd like to point out. First off, I'd like to point out that the Note 8 isn't too much bigger than the S8 Plus. In fact, the 6.3 inch screen is only 0.1 inches bigger than the 6.2 inch screen found on the S8 Plus. You'll notice that the Note 8 is not as rounded off as the S8. This could simply be by design or it was physically necessary to accommodate the S Pen slot that lives in the bottom right of the Note. The less rounded corners carry onto the actual screen of the Note 8 also. The Note 8, just like the S8s, have almost bezel-less design containing a screen with an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9. When looking around the frame, the only real difference is seen by the fact that the Note 8 has an S Pen slot. Everything else in regards to the placement of the power, volume, and Bixby buttons, and the SIM and micro SD card slot is identical on both phones. The backs of the devices do look different due to the dual camera setup of the Note and the rearrangement of the sensors. Much to the disappointment of users, Samsung has kept the fingerprint scanner near the camera, but has elected to put the flash and heart rate sensor in between the cameras and the sensor to avoid accidental smudging. Also, the fingerprint sensor on the Note 8 is slightly more recessed in order to make finding it without a case easier. I'm going to be pushing out a lot of new Note 8 content, including comparisons with the S8 Plus and the new iPhone that's about to be announced, so make sure you're subscribed and have post notifications turned on to stay up to date. Also, let me know in the comments section which type of videos you'll like to see with the Note 8, and let me know any other general questions you may have. If you like that video, please give this video a thumbs up. Check the description for a link to my Twitter account for a behind the scenes look at what I'm up to. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.